Welcome CryptoFam to the first part of the StarkNet uh, testnets airdrops. I don't know, we are going to hunt some StarkNet airdrops and I will make some different parts like the Optimism and Arbitrum uh, ones. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm here on Lucas Dantos thread, who is also the founder of EarnDrops.io. If you haven't seen our Twitter, check it out. Um, but let's get to it. Um, feel free to read all the threads um, or the thread because there's there's so much valuable information and because I don't know shit I won't get too much over this or tell you because yeah, I said I don't I, I don't I don't know anything uh, <laughs> So I'm just gonna show you some test nets and make a few parts today I'm gonna show you uh, number 13 and 14 and Yeah, will be four pages where we'll do swaps pools, etc. So let's get right into it the first thing you'll have to do is get the Argent X wallet, which is different than the one on your phone. So just download it if you haven't already and set it up like any other wallet. If you've already um, got it, click click on it and um, you will see somewhere an um, update button, which I did uh, before today. Yeah, so just click on update and you will have updated your wallet. The second, second thing we'll have to do is get over to the Starknet faucet and copy in your address so hop over to your wallet just click here on copy enter your wallet address confirm that you're not a roboter and just get your 0.002 test ethereum and that's it with the first step the second step is to head over to stark swap and get yourself some faucet tokens as you can see um, you can only get the bar and the LAN tokens and the max should be 100 so mint yourself them and you can mint them how um how often you like I believe because I've now done it three times and it still worked. So get yourself some tokens. But if you hop over to the swap uh, swap feature, um, you will see that you won't be able to uh, trade LAN and bar tokens. Uh, or that was the case for me. So it doesn't matter what you put in. There will always uh, this will always say no routes available. Um, after after of course i've minted my tokens but um we've got some test ethereum that's why you can always um swap some test ethereum for example for usdt so for example like this and you will get some usdc my bad but i said i first have to wait for the transaction to be complete and i won't wait uh, for them for the whole video because I said we are doing a different test nets and they may take one, two, three, four minutes and the video would be way too long. So just um, no, yeah, <laughs> I won't wait for every transaction to go through. But as you can see, I can swap some Ethereum now. Let's do it like, uh, let's do it like this. Click on swap, confirm swap and confirm this in your Argent X wallet. See, you can do some swaps with Ethereum, but not with the other two tokens, but after doing some swaps, you can hop over to the pool section and you can add liquidity with those two tokens. So for example, put in 20 and then click on add liquidity and you can also um, add the LP tokens to your wallet. So just wait for all the transactions to go through, add some liquidity and you can also withdraw some liquidity. For example, I could withdraw 20. So I would just have to wait for the transaction to go through and then click on confirm. Again, confirm in your Argent X wallet and this should be it. So do some swaps with Ethereum, add some um, liquidity with those LAN and BAR tokens, and maybe some other tokens, and uh, withdraw some, and this should be it for the first page. You can also see your pools here, and as said, uh, withdraw some liquidity. This is the, uh, so we are done with the first website, um, a protocol, let's hop over to the second. So second one is Yedi swap. I've already done it, but let's do it again. As said, if you've done those tests, let's do them again because it's always good to have your activity um, not only on one day, so maybe in every few weeks, every few days. I don't know, depends on your time. But try to do um, the test nets not only once. Even if you do them twice and like um, now and in two weeks, it's still better than only doing it once. So. Hop over to the trade section and first of all, mint your Yedi tokens. You will get 1000 of all and I think you can only do it once. So that's why I won't do it because it will get rejected. It will again take a few minutes for you to see all your tokens. After you've got them, just do some swaps. Um, yeah, do some swaps. Click on swap, click on confirm swap and confirm this in your Argent X wallet. And you can also add the token down here 
to your wallet so you can see it. I've also done it, but yeah, just click on it. Your Argent wallet will uh, will open and you'll just have to click on confirm. As I said, I've already done this, so there's no need for me to do that. After you've done some swaps, head over to pools and add liquidity. Ju just choose uh, a pool uh, and the tokens you want, choose them, click on supply, on confirm supply and again um, sign it with your Argent X wallet and also you can add the LP tokens to your wallet if you want. So just click on add LP tokens to wallet and this should pop up but because I've got two transactions pending and I think I've already done it, <laughs> it doesn't work. But yeah, add some liquidity and after a few minutes after your transaction go through, you will see your pool somewhere here. Click on manage and that's where you can also add liquidity or remove liquidity. Let me just remove 50% of the liquidity. You can also hit on detailed and check all the details out. But if you don't want to check them, click on remove, click on confirm and again sign this transaction in your MetaMask wallet. Now, if you've done those two steps, you can hop over to ZEP. Now, what is the ZEP function? Um, you can convert any of your normal tokens to LP tokens. So if you, I don't know, don't have enough in your uh, liquidity pools and the stake function gets um, available, you can just, yeah, like, like this, choose some tokens, choose some LP tokens and ZEP them. Yeah, ZEP them to LP tokens and when the stake function goes live, you can put them to stake and I don't know, far farm, far <laughs> normal tokens back. So click on close. And yeah, you could also add the LP tokens to your MetaMask wallet, which I did not do right now. But as you can see, those transactions are going through. Trades work, pool work. And you can also add, yeah, and remove liquidity. SAP work as the SAP feature works. And the stake uh, feature doesn't yet, but do all those steps. Yeah, this should be it for the um, third project or protocol. I believe. So let's go to MySwap and um, what you need to do uh, on MySwap. First of all, head over to this website and mint your tokens. I think the max is 10k. So let me do 5k again. And as you can see, one transaction is still pending. So wait until it's finished if you want more tokens. And I think you can do it um, how often you want. So if you hop over to MySwap and connect with your uh, wallet, you will see that um, when minted your tokens, you uh, only get the TST token. So um, let's swap some TST tokens. Let's put in 5k. And as you can see, um, you, you won't be able to swap it in TCOM. So just use um, USDC or um, uh, wrapped Ethereum. Just click on swap. Uh, uh, swap limit is a thousand. Okay, no problem. Click on swap. Um, sign this in your wallet. And this should also be it. You'll get some test wrapped Ethereum. And you can also add the test wrapped Ethereum to your Argent X wallet. So after doing this, also head over to pools, um, choose your choose your tokens, for example, those. Sorry, add liquidity, and wait for the transaction to go through. This also works. Um, should also work good. So just add liquidity after your transaction goes through, and you should also be able to remove some liquidity uh, or yeah, and w withdraw them. And this is the, the, the last page to some swaps at liquidity, like at the other protocols. And the charts will be updated soon or coming soon. So just gotta wait for them charts. And the last project with which isn't available at the moment is Alpha Road. Um, as you can see, zero available slots uh, for the beta. And as you can see, you'll just have to follow their Twitter, turn on the notification. So if they get um, other spots, you might be lucky and snag yourself one. So this should be it for all those um, few different protocols. If you have any questions, I'll try to help you. Hit me down in the comments. And if you see people talking about Luna, 99% don't have a clue. So that's why also I'm not talking about Luna because nobody knows shit. Keep that in mind. Do these test nets, get rewarded and um, put them into good projects. This should be it. Yeah, I said if you have any questions, ask me below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.